Welcome back. They call it the Plasmatron bus, and it may soon pull ahead of the other engine advancements revving up in labs around the country. In this story, scientists test their invention where the rubber meets the road. This looks like an ordinary bus, but inside its Clark Kent exterior revs the heart of a superhero, a smog-busting techno weapon known as the Plasmatron. Its mission? Saving our planet from deadly pollutants and also high gas prices and dependence on foreign oil. Granville, how fast are you? Meet some of the good guys, scientists at the Arvin Meritor test site in Columbus, Indiana, home of the Plasmatron bus. They're tracking the atmosphere's arch enemy, nitrogen oxide, a.k.a. NOx, or NOx. When NOx is heated by the sun, the result is ground-level ozone, smog, which is bad for our health and the environment. Half of all NOx is released when cars and trucks burn fuel. But wait! It's the Plasmatron to the rescue. We've had it out successfully on the track before, but I don't think we've run it for this long in this cooler weather and had this good of results. All right, let's open her up. Yeah, let's take a look at this. After a successful test run, these unassuming engineers check on the nemesis of noxious fumes. It may not look like much, but this is the Plasmatron, also known as an onboard plasma fuel reformer. Everything connected? Everything looks fine. On this diesel-powered bus, the Plasmatron is attached to the exhaust system. The plasma fuel reformer is this uh, stainless steel component in the back. Uh, that's where the, the hydrogen is generated. The rest of the componentry in this box is the high voltage power supply that, that makes the unit work. Here's how it operates. As fuel burns in the bus's engine, NOx is created. When the NOx reaches the exhaust system, it's absorbed by sponges under the bus. When the sponges are full, they must be emptied, and that's where the plasmatron comes in. While the fuel is burning in the engine, the plasmatron is generating hot gases known as plasma. The gases spark a chemical reaction between the fuel and air, freeing up hydrogen, the plasmatron's trusty sidekick. What the plasma fuel reformer does is inject some hydrogen gas into the system, which destroys that NOx that's been absorbed. It essentially regenerates the sponge so that the NOx is emptied out and it's ready to, uh, to soak up more. The hydrogen breaks the NOx into its harmless components, water and nitrogen. One for engine out NOx and one for tailpipe NOx. Um, you see the engine out right now is about 450, 460. That's in parts per million or PPM. Uh, the other reading of 29, 30, that's tailpipe uh, NOx. So we're talking about reducing our NOx levels uh, via this system uh, by over 90%. It's a triumph on the road to clean air. Next stop, MIT partners in this classic battle of good versus evil. The goal here is to install a plasmatron on our cars, whose gasoline engines are very different from diesels. There would be two benefits, better performance and lower emissions. To achieve this double benefit, the plasmatron would go on the engine, not the exhaust as in the diesel bus. And what happens is some of the fuel I mean, goes to the plasmatron, it's converted into hydrogen-rich gas, and that hydrogen-rich gas is then combusted in the engine cylinders along with gasoline. And the hydrogen-rich gas facilitates the very high efficiency operation and very clean operation. But because a gasoline engine is more complex than a diesel, it would require a more complex plasmatron. That takes lots of engineering to take this seemingly simple addition and, and make it work well in the real world and bring the cost down so that the benefits that we get more than offset the extra cost that we've got to put into the engine. These intrepid engineers show us what the gasoline plasmatron might look like. We have an example of one of the options we're, we're testing. Why don't, why don't you bring out the multi-head one? You know, we'll have to be engineered into a practical product, but this is the type of device that we're investigating for the uh, high efficiency car engine application. We actually have a multi-stage plasmatron. We have uh, a couple of stages. There would be many benefits. It would give your car more oomph with a smaller engine. Probably like a Camry, 
to have a performance like a BMW. Lower fuel costs, more miles per gallon. A cleaner environment. Less dependence on foreign oil. And it's coming soon, well, pretty soon, to a garage near you. While the Plasmatron car is temporarily stalled, look for these determined scientists to jumpstart it before too long. Here's some tech knowledge trivia. For every gallon of gasoline your vehicle burns, it puts how many pounds of carbon dioxide into the air? A, 40 pounds, B, 10 pounds, C, 20 pounds, or D, 5 pounds? Find out when we come back. <laughs> 